Booktubeathon started out really great for me. I read two graphic novels, Alex and Ada Volume 2 and Saga Volume 7. I started Mouse. Well, technically I read the first half, which I think is technically Volume 1 because it is the complete mouse. So I guess that technically counts as three graphic novels, but that was only the first two days. I wasn't expecting to get a whole lot of reading done on day three, but I had that Thursday or day four off and I had high hopes for it, but that was before Wednesday night. Wednesday night, I went out to an event and long story short, I had a mild panic attack. I was fine, my friends were there, it was severely mild. I wasn't expecting much of a hangover from it as I barely even noticed it was happening. Panic attack hangover is the depression I fall into the day or days after following a panic attack. I was fine, I just wasn't my usual self. As I described it, I was flatlining. It's something I've dealt with before, I usually just have to wait it out. Thursday, the day I had originally planned to read and relax, was spent in bed watching RuPaul's Drag Race. I know this seems like a totally normal thing to do to just stay in bed all day and binge watch a show, but I, for one, had already seen the episodes that I, were wa I was watching, and two, I don't normally stay in bed that long. Like, if I stay in bed maybe an hour, that's about it. I don't like staying in one position, not doing anything, not being productive. I don't do that at all. So staying in bed all day, whether it's watching TV or just listening to an audiobook, it's it's mindless. It's something that I don't need to put much effort or focus in. So it's my way of sleeping. A lot of people sleep when they're feeling depressed. I just lay in bed binge watching a show I've already seen because it's comforting. This lasted days, including Friday when I had to be at work. Normally, when I'm having a bad day, going to work will make me feel better. And don't get me wrong, I still felt better being at work around my coworkers, it didn't stay consistent like it normally does. I would be laughing with my coworkers one second, but feeling really down the next. Saturday was still rough, but I started feeling better. By Sunday, I was back to my usual self. Actually, I probably felt the best that I felt in a long time, and I'm still holding that. I'm feeling really good over the past week really, but I did decide on one thing while I was riding this roller coaster. The next week I am off on vacation from work and four days out of this week, I'm going to be out visiting my parents. I am going to be unplugging for those four days. No social media, no texting, no internet. I am turning my phone and my watch on airplane mode, if not off and I'm just going to enjoy my time. I'm going to read, I'm going to hike. It's going to be great. I'm very excited to just take a break from the internet. I will see you next time, bye.